leave it to Machine Repeat to find a building full of tractor treasures, unlocking some family favorites more than a century old. It's an impressive collection and one that Machine Repeat traveled to Monroe, Wisconsin to uncover. Hey folks, Machine Repeat here on the road in Monroe, Wisconsin. I tell you what, this is a special treat. We are at the uh, family collection at uh, Carousel Farms and I'm here with Randy Bader. And Randy, first of all, thank you for giving us the opportunity to get up close to your amazing collection of John Deere and, and other types of equipment. It is, it is kind of mind-blowing to stand here and look at your collection. And of course, we're standing by a piece of John Deere history. Can you tell us about this Waterloo boy? Uh, th this is a 1914 uh, Model R. Okay. And uh, th they're fairly rare. Uh, there wasn't a lot of R's built. I, I guess it would be easy to find out, but it's a matter how many are left. But this is a Kenny Cass tractor out of Dunkerton, Iowa. Hmm. And we were introduced to this tractor down at the uh, New Pavilion uh, the first year that they had it. Yep. As we look around your collection here, uh, Randy, and by the way, folks, if you, if you want more in-depth, we have a whole walkthrough Machine Repeat YouTube video with Randy and his brothers talking about the collection, but the Waterloo Boy is a, a centerpiece, but just amazing history all around here, Randy. Can you tell us a little bit how it all got started for you guys? Oh, probably started when we were boys, okay. uh, probably riding with our grandfather Bader on his John Deere tractors. Your, your late father, Ron, legend in the agricultural industry uh, with the agency side, uh, you know, helped make American agriculture what it was. Uh, must have been a lot of fun with Dad over the years. Oh, it was tremendous. We, we had the most wonderful time with our father. And he loved machinery, too. He had a passion for all agriculture. And, and he was good at anything he did. And uh, when he decided and asked us guys if we wanted to start collecting two-cylinder John Deere tractors, of course, we were delighted. Yeah. And uh, I think our first auction we all went together was uh, Kiwana, Illinois. Mm. And we found a couple old deeds that we brought back home, and that was the beginning. Yeah. Isn't it funny that the, the, the tractors that you acquire at the auctions, or even those auctions where you go and you get skunk, you don't get it. But you, you look back on the days spent with your brothers or your dad or your wife or your friends at the sale. I mean, those are good days. Those were the best days of our lives. Yeah, we were all together looking at yeah. and judging tractors. With this collection, you, you're, you're connecting our past as we smash forward full speed into the future, and like you say, the modern equipment in the shed, you guys farm, you, you know, doing what you gotta do, but, you know, honoring our past like this is a beautiful thing to do. So Randy, thank you for what you guys have done, you and your brothers and your family, and thank you for showing us, uh, again, just a treat to be able to get up close to it. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah, you bet. Thanks, Greg. What an impressive collection. Well, if you're complaining about how cold it is outside right now, if it's not negative 30 or even negative 40, I'm here to tell you it could be worse. So we'll look at the record-breaking cold and the possible impact on ag next.